Welcome back to Northern Ants Gaming. My name is Mark, and we're back, jumping back into Ostrif. Uh, we had uh, another update. It's uh, Alpha 4, and it's uh, Patch 2. Okay, well, let's jump right in. As you can see, we are having a little bit of a food variety store, um, sh uh, issue, uh, meaning that there's not enough variety of food for the people. We do have people out fishing right now, so that's good. And got somebody in there working on any boats that might need help. Let's see, do we have people? Yeah, we got two people working on wood, which we need some more logs. And, whoop, <laughs> wrong button. Uh, currently, we've got them working on this is, okay it's another villager's house we must be let's see we're in August we shouldn't have anybody really working on the fields because it's already past getting close to time to reap but let's take a couple people off of the farming to see if we can't get them onto building because that's what we're lacking right now, is looking for builders. Let's speed up the time a little bit. Let's see if we can't get some stuff going here. Let's see, camp storage, camp center. Hiring, I want to hire. The economy, let's take a look at these tag, tags, tabs. <laughs> okay, we got plenty of drinking water. This is the amount stored, and this is the amount produced so far, and the amount spent. Sold, we've been selling firewood, it looks like the most fish and uh, yeah, we're selling potatoes. Yeah, those are the, the main things that we are currently producing in our farms. Hmm. Let's see. Let's go back over to the... Oh, yeah, we got... They must be okay. They're harvesting, is what it is. Let's let's pop a couple more people back into the into the farm. So we'll have to do a lot of our building once we get into the winter time when people are not so busy with other tasks. Let's see, let's raise the labor salary so we can get more people. We gotta get them over here to start harvesting. 400% raise should get them over here harvesting quickly. It's only got three new people. Wow. Yeah, let's not pay them 400%. <laughs> there should be, they're wanting to have food for the winter. Oh, that might get them to quit <laughs> if we drop it below 100%. The wheat will at least get us some flour. Oh, the soil is exhausted on this one. I wonder, how do we, okay, we can demolish it. Okay, good. Well, that's weird, it took away the other fence. Hopefully that doesn't, in, like, make this field. Oh, no, it doesn't, okay. It's still, the field's still good. Good, they're working on that one too now. We got anybody in the mill? Yep, we do. Okay, Sh he should be making flour. They're 
there's three people working in there. It should be. We can probably take her off of that so she can go work. I don't need two working in the nails right now. Oh, this field's exhausted too now. <clears throat> I wonder. Buckwheat. Yeah, let's uh, demolish this one too. I'm wondering if we can build, if we build a new field, if we can build it over the same spot to and have it regain all of its nutrients. Let's try it. Oh, okay. Well, good thing it doesn't cost anything to build. At least I hope it doesn't. <laughs> If it does, I just uh, wasted a bunch of money, even though they didn't let me finish the field. So now we have to build, we can build buildings here, because it's exhausted, unless it will eventually regain its ability to support crops. Uh, let's place one. Oh, it's too close to a building. Um, let's try it this way. Okay, there we go. Now that'll... We can put wheat. And let's see, what do we... Potatoes. Wheat and potatoes use pretty much the same thing. Flax. Let's build some flax. I don't, that's new. I don't remember that before. Because we're going to have to... Let's see, let's do potatoes on that one next. This one will be doing wheat next, which... Starting to get a little bit low. We're going to have to build our farm a little bit farther away this next time. Let's add one over here. Hmm. It's there. Did I try building something right there? Oh, that's the trading post. I forgot I put that there. Let's do wheat again, because that, that's going to get us our flour. We need the flour. We're heading into fall. Well, it's November, so we're getting pretty close to... Oh, good. Okay, they did finish that house. That's good. Up to 42 people now in the town. These houses should have, yeah, they got pretty good variety of food in those houses that have their own crops are doing pretty good. Let's take and build another, wait, where do we got another stall? We've got a stall over here. Can we add stuff to the stall that other people produce, I wonder? Uh, let's see. Beef bear. Okay, we can. It does look like there's some of the things that other people produce that they might be able to put there to sell to some of these people that don't have enough variety. If we had more of a population, I would feel a little more comfortable building another couple more stalls, but I, I think we really need to try. Put one over here put a little bit more variety in it, maybe. Uh, I 
Now we get some carrots. And let's get our flour. And some fish, because I know those are good things. And they seem to really need to have firewood. That way they can keep their houses warm. these people go back to doing other things like trying to build oh good what's this I'm building construction office good 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 well, let's add another person working on the nails because we're soon we're gonna be able to because our yep they our river is gonna start freezing over so let's let these we can leave one person in there if they need to haul fish out. But there's really no sense in having people there. Well, let's check on the school real quick, see what... We've got four kids, we've got the teacher, that's good. Oh good, construction office is done. Maybe that, okay, let's see what we can do. Builders. We want to get some builders going in here. Now this is good, because now we can actually get some people working in the building community so we can get these buildings done. Let's get a bunch of them in there. We could probably build another cart stall. Uh, let's see, we got, we got trading dock, stable, wagon shed. Should we do a cart stall or a wagon shed? We probably need horses for the wagons. We don't have any hay. Um, we don't have our trading post yet. So let's set up another cart stall, and we're gonna set it over here by the set over here close to the construction if we can. Put it right in the back here. Oh, uneven. There we go. Put it right there. I love it. This way we can actually hire people, make sure that we get some people doing the construction. That's why we've always been having such a hard time getting people to work. Because they it was mostly just like a volunteer basis kind of thing. Gotta get more houses so we can get more people so we can keep it moving. I think I want to stick with doing houses with, with farms because I'm seeing that as you can tell, the, all these houses without farms are just, they're having a really hard time keeping a good variety of food. I think if we had wagons, we might be able to get larger quantities of goods moved. Let's see, a stable Larger every wagons, up to three wagons. I guess we can set it up. Hmm, let's see, where do we want to put it? We don't want it too far from all the action over here. That's going to be on even ground, though, too. Yeah, see, this is not really suitable ground for building. I guess we can kind of just, uh, let's see. Yeah, we're so close to the river. Mm, that seems to be kind of in the way. Let's put it this way so that people can access it from the other side. 
We're gonna need horses though, that's the only thing I'm thinking if it's really worth it yet. Production buildings, we might want to think about that. Stone mining camp. Why? Do I have that? No, I don't have that started yet. See, now this, it's going to be, because I'm pretty sure that's what this over here, these rocks, these are lie. Inaccessible. Okay, yeah, because we don't have their bridge done yet, but they are working on it now. Oh, good, a new family moved in, even in the middle of the winter. That's good. Lie workshop, okay. So we're going to need both of those. Yeah, see, a lot of these buildings we're going to need our trading post up before it really makes any difference. Stone camp. Salt works. I'm wondering all those buildings, they might be kind of tied together when it comes to those rocks. very good on <laughs> poor guy his house is kind of lopsided in his area but I wanted to get a little bit bigger ground to see what you know kind of crops they might build in it I wonder if there's anybody been buried in there where did I put that Good. There's still nobody buried in those. Oh, here comes a spring. And we do got our bridge now. So let's, uh... Let's see if we can't build this, uh... Production. I think a live workshop might... set that over there see if they'll start working on this on these rocks we do have to have some trees removed but that should be fine oh we got springtime we need to we need to whoa <laughs> we need to put these guys back down to before we burn through all of our money put back to into a hundred percent and take a couple off of it because now we need them working on the farm Let's get three of them going on the farm they should start bringing laborers in got to get a couple more guys in the fishing and get somebody in the workbench just in case. See, we should be getting plenty of workers. Okay, they should start working on their gardens in here pretty soon. Okay, well we got our bridge done. Got our farms are starting out in the spring here. Oh, 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 that's what we're gonna need over here, I think. Even though we do have the water pier there, so that, we, that should be sufficient for them to get water. Okay, well thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. My name is Mark, this is Northern Ants. Please remember to hit that like button, comment down below, and don't forget, Smash that subscribe button if you have not done so yet. You have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you in the comments. Don't forget to check out the Northern Ants merch shop. The link is in most of the descriptions of the videos, plus on my homepage.